guys this is TechCore here here is another tutorial on how to make a dispersion effect in Photoshop anyone can do this so go try it yourself and let's get started the first thing you want to do is choose a picture with a solid background or you can edit the background like I did mine here it looks better like this and go ahead and drag that into Photoshop unlock the background with double clicking on the padlock icon and create two duplicate layers you can hide those for now and choose the selection tool. Select part of the background that will cover your image and make a new layer with that selection. Scale it so it is just the background showing and you can merge those now. Unhide the top layer and go to filter and lignify. Select a small brush and drag just the edges to one side. You can now get a larger brush and do something like this. It doesn't look good, but for effect it's perfect. So that's good, go ahead and click OK. Add layer mask by clicking on this icon under the layer toolbar. Make sure the mask is selected and click on invert or you can use the shortcut Alt plus delete. Ok, now grab your eraser tool and for all the brushes that I use here I will leave a download link in the description so go check that out. I like this the best. Choose yours, open the brush settings so you can rotate the brush or scale it. Make sure the middle layer is selected, not the top one. And start deleting the edges of your body or head So here I got some color differences between the background and this layer, so I will just erase the whole part. Play with the brush settings a bit and when you're happy with the result, go choose a different brush. And tweak the settings. Go select the top layer mask and start erasing the mask like this. Put as many particles as you can and grab the brush tool. Select different brushes and fix the mess you just made. I like to go around the edges and leave more particles in the middle but it's up to you. To cover too much mask, erase some more by selecting the erase tool and doing the same thing again. So that's it guys. I hope you made a good dispersion effect yourself. If you have any questions feel free to contact us and make sure you subscribe for more.